IDSDR um, and in this video I'll provide you with a short overview over the hardware components of the newly released Steam VR tracking HDK that is now released by Triad Semiconductors for around $600. Um, anyone can buy this uh, with free licensing and attach the photo diodes to custom objects um, to track um, and uh, represent in a virtual world. Um, and um, this video is more about how to assemble this, if it's easy or not, um, and if it's worth uh, the $600 um, that you have to pay for this kit. Um, in future release, I will also um, compare the actual estimation of the tracking with the state of the art motion tracking cameras and see if, how it compares. So, when you go on the Triad um, website, Triad Semiconductors, you can see um, in, their, in the product section. Um, the Steam VR tracking HDK. This is where I am now. And when you buy the whole set, you would get the these components, um, and it comes about um, to a total of six hundred dollars here. So you get this um, uh, Watchman core module, um, the application board, um, which is also has um, battery and USB um, connector. And then you get these um, kind of light to digital converters or little sensors that you can put on your tracked object. They're really small and you get 32 of those. Then you got the breakout board um, and that's it. And in this video they show you how to put it all together. It's like a really fast 10 second and I promise you it will take you a, long, a lot longer than this. Uh, even when you slow it down and even if, if you look at this, I mean this guy is probably trained. So it's not that fast. <laughs> um, now I'll show you the actual components that I got. So first of all, um, I, I earlier I forgot to mention that this whole thing comes with 32 of these um, light to digital converters and I've only taken out 8 of these and I've already hooked them up and uh, it also comes with one of these Steam VR um, HDK uh, receivers and someone from Triad probably put on VR here, handwritten, with one of these pens. Um, so this is, I guess, the receiver that goes into the computer. Um, so just, just to show you how, how long I take for this, uh, I'm going to try and do it as neatly as possible. Um, and obviously these ones are already connected. So um, let's see. So this is how you hook it up and the problem is so you want to create some track um, six degree of freedom trackable objects or oh, that one just came off um, so you see it's not very robust and now this one came off but anyway so you want to create some um, trackable objects um, and, and get the position and the orientation let's say from this lighter uh, and I just can't see of how to really nicely prototype with this because it's very fragile, these things come off very easily, they already move a bit um, and also, you see that right? and um, and also, if I want two objects, I just ha this is the distance I get so if, if this is one object and I want another object, then this is this is how far I can go f from this, from this uh, main module here um, so it's not very I guess user friendly is not very developer friendly and experimental friendly um, because you've got these flex connectors um, and I've just I've just used double sided tape spongy tape on here um, and there's no clear like documentation on how many you need of these and how to place them I know they have some tools for that um, but um, but it's not very clear it's not a nice um, developer kit and it's really expensive so um, for now my overall kind of approach would be only buy this if you know exactly how this works and what you're doing otherwise um, I wouldn't recommend this to you for the general let's say VR experimenter or perhaps someone who has an oculus rift I wouldn't recommend this necessarily um, and even I haven't yet managed to make it work 
So whenever I, I um, switch on the light towers, um, nothing is happening here. They go warm a bit, I mean each of these ones. And also the module overall um, gets warm, but that's I guess normal. Um, but it, but nothing in terms of data streams etc comes through. Um, I looked at some of the um, things on the website and they don't also seem to be very clear on how they produced um, their product. So there are some user projects here uh, and there's, there's some you know some universities and hackathons or hackadays projects. Um, I mean, this this one seems cool, but um, I mean, there's so many easier ways to do this, to track a, a mobile virtual reality headset, etc. But you can see this is from a university, so they can afford this kind of equipment, uh, you know, for six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Um, but the everyday person won't be able to do that, I guess. Uh, it's really really expensive. I guess it's cheaper to develop your own tracking system using either cameras. Um, modified webcams and things like that I think it's worth a lot more than what you can achieve with this so overall I hope um, this has been useful to you um, if you have any further questions um, please let me know in the comments um, I'll also try and make this work in terms of tracking um, and compare it to um, state-of-the-art camera motion tracking cameras etc which I have access to um, and I guess um, yeah Thank you very much for watching.